You can also add effects onto your audio files to enhance them. And this can be done through the effects rack. So on the left panel here, it's currently showing the media browser, but you can see you can click here to reveal the effects rack. If you don't see it, you can go to the Windows menu and choose Effects Rack. So here you have a choice of 16 slots where you can add effects onto one audio file. And then if you click this arrow over here, here you can choose the effects to add. These are the default effects that come bundled with Audition. And then below this, it'll show you any third party effects that you have installed. On the PC, this will be VSTs. And then on the Mac, you'll see VST and audio units. Now, if you don't see the third party effects that you have installed on your machine, you need to set these up under the effects and the audio plugin manager. So here you can add folder directories for where your VSTs are installed, and then you can scan for them. And then after this, when you launch Audition, it'll recognize the VSTs that you've installed on your system. So let's go through and add some plugins. Let's first use some of Audition's bundled plugins. So if you click here, let's load up an EQ to do some corrective EQing. I'll load up a 10 band graphic EQ. It pulls up the UR. Now maybe I want to adjust or remove some of the low end in the signal to do some corrective EQing. And Audition has this gooey look for its effects. You can see if you open up another one, it'll look pretty similar. Maybe add an analog delay, brings up the interface, and you can go in and tweak any of the parameters. And if you want to remove a plugin, just go here and choose Remove Effect. Now, if you open up a third party effect, let's check out maybe VST effects. And how about opening up this Lexicon Hall Reverb? And this will open up the third party user interface so you'll be familiar with your effects and you can go in and edit them. I'll just remove that for now. First, I wanna talk about the presets that come with Audition. And these can be really helpful, especially if you're doing post-production work. You can see that they've been named quite accurately. So maybe you've got a vocal part and you wanna apply some effect processing to it. How about using this preset over here on the telephone? This loads up some effects into this effects rack. And now when you listen back, Check the limits you have, push them, push them right back. Can you see what I mean? You got to give it up. And you can also bypass the effects. So this was it before. Check the limits you have, push them, push them right back. Can you see what I mean? You got to give it up. And then you can also choose to enable the ones that you want again. And these effects rack pass through a signal chain. There's an input level, then it goes into the effects, and then there's an output level. So you can choose to adjust the input coming in before it goes to the effects, and then the output. Maybe you're finding it's a bit loud after the effects. Then you can just pull this down. And what's also pretty cool is you've got this mix so you can dial in how much of the dry sound versus the wet sound you want with this effects chain. Here it's dry, and it's wet. And you can also apply the effects to the audio file. So this prints them onto the audio and then removes the effects from the effects chain. And this process can be on the entire file or selection only. So let's just do a selection and apply the on the telephone effect across this audio selection. You can see it removes the effects and it's been applied to the selection. So if I play this back. Check the limits you have, push them, push them right back. Can you see what I mean? You got to give it up. So that's got the effect applied. And if you go here, this is the clean audio file. Check the limits you have, push them, push them right back. So that's pretty cool if you want to do some selective processing with some effects on your audio. But I'm just going to undo that for now and go back to before when there was the effects chain. Now, with these effects, you can also save your own effects racks. 
So let's say you build up quite a cool chain of effects. You can save your own one. So maybe I want to go in and add some third party effects to this effects chain as well. Maybe let's add on a vintage tape effect as well. I'll just choose a draft preset. And let's try add in some other things. Let's see what else we've got here. And maybe some crazy hall reverb. So it's getting quite drastic now. Can you see what I mean? You got to give it up. Now you can go in and save your own preset. So let's call this big hall telephone voice. Now, when you go back to your presets, you'll see that that preset you've saved, you can now recall it from the presets. So that's a great way to build up your own effects track presets when you're using your third party effects. And then you can quickly go in and recall them from the list here. Now, another thing to point out, you can also bypass all the effects. So you've got the individual effects over here, and then you can bypass the whole chain by going here. So that's just a great way just to take everything and bypass it to quickly compare the before and the after. So that covers how to use effects racks and insert effects on your tracks in Audition. Next, we're going to take a look at how we can edit the audio with these spectral views. Catch you in the next video.